Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Great War Total War. Today we have an epic battle for you. Now, you guys keep doing fantastically well by getting these videos to 200 likes in like two hours. So I'm going to keep that like target, keep getting these videos to 200 likes, and I will keep releasing a video of the Great War every Sunday. It will be known as Great War Sunday. Now, today I'm actually doing a multiplayer match against Warrior of Sparta and Pixelated Apollo. We're doing the Battle of Verdun. So this is going to be a, trying to represent a very small battle of the Battle of Verdun. And I think I might just have to turn down the artillery just a smidge. Wow, that is loud. Um, well, it's loud in my ears anyway. I don't know how it is for you. But let's just turn that down, down a little smidge and get back to it. So, Battle of Verdun. Huge German assault. I've actually outnumbered two to one in this battle. So my artillery is now firing. We're going to have to try and hold this fairly defensive position. We do have a little line of trenches here. So, line of trenches, a small line of natural fortifications. And as you can see, it's as sunny as it is in England in the summer. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that little bad joke. <laughs> so this was amazing that we could actually get multiplayer to work. I haven't actually been able to do this before. And this is Warrior Sparta's first time in the game. So he's actually commencing his assault now. Look at the hordes of German rifle infantry and guard infantry coming towards the French lines. Now, obviously we can't do an actual representation of the Battle of Verdun with the limitations of Napoleon Total War. However, we try to make this as accurate as possible, and I believe this is Pixelated Apollo's men starting to come in. And as you can see, it's pouring over here as well. So these are men you do not want to mess with. A huge German assault. Now you guys have been giving me lots of suggestions for future battles, so do keep suggesting those in the comments. And I really can't believe the amount of support you guys are showing for this series. It really is humbling when I say, like, it would be great if we could get to 200 likes. And you guys and gals managed to do that in less than an hour sometimes, which is crazy. So, yeah, it really makes me motivated to keep making this series because it is a fantastic mod. And just all the attention to detail in this is simply amazing. So, let's head back to this front. As you can see, I've brought forward my snipers. However, one thing that I forgot to do, because we it took a lot of time setting this battle up, I forgot to turn on fire at will again. So I was hoping that they just keep on sniping. However, they don't appear to want to, which is very annoying. So we've got my Trieurs down here. It's a nice little large unit of snipers. And my main line, oh, is getting absolutely blasted by their artillery. Ah, oh, well, the artillery is going to be stuck, so the horses carrying the artillery have now perished. So, we have our men now taking pot shots. And I think for further immersion, let's just close the radar map for now. So as you can see, firing across, hopefully trying to hit a few of the Germans here. And they've already taken a lot of fire from artillery. So we're going to continue our little fire here. And they're still losing men. As you can see, Warrior Sparta's got a bit of a cavalry attack waiting to assault my position. And soon they'll be in range of the main line. So I don't really see this unit getting very far. And it's like they're actually going to try and run into my line here. So we're going to fall back. However, we're falling back into my main line of rifle infantry firing here. So he's pretty much getting into his own trenches and actually trying to hold this position. as That's a fairly good defensive position to get. The shots that I'm going to be able to get will mainly go overhead. So he's done very well there. But my artillery can still blast his position. But as you can see, look at the amount of men pouring in. And I believe he's going to launch a cavalry attack fairly soon. Not yet, though. Oh, no, maybe now. And But waiting for him. I have a lovely unit of machine gun here. So we're going to have to see how he deals with that. But cavalry versus machine gun, as we well know, probably won't end very well. So I'm going to keep up this assault to try and pin him down for as long as possible. But I actually do stop firing because I don't want to waste my ammo at targets I'm unable to get. Look at this. Oh. And let's see the cavalry assault come on over. 
And the barrage they're going to get here. Let's just check the radar map to see if we're not getting attacked from anywhere else. No, nope, we're good at the minute. Ah. Come on, boys. Fire, fire when you're ready. And there we go. So the machine gun is now firing at the cavalry. And they're getting absolutely wrecked. And they're actually getting funneled down this little area here. So their charge kind of hampered to begin with. And as you can see, the machine gun shots coming in. A lot of the cavalry still getting through the line, though. Uh, but and then, and then my other infantry starts firing. So this assault by Warrior Sparta to flank my position is going well. Uh, it's not going very well. Over here, still exchanging fire. I think my snipers are still trying to get some shots off, but they're, they've lost a lot of their number here. Snipers still shooting. But as you can see here, this flank is very secure. Those dragoons and yeah, dragoons are not gonna get in my into my lines. So it looks like the Germans are amassing for a large assault here, ready to go over the top. And this is when I was getting pretty nervous. In fact, I was still fairly confident I could hold my positions because I, I had... Well, I didn't really have the high ground, but... I had at least had a little ditch and then the trenches. And a machine gun. Which I thought would do well. And my artillery still blasting their position. However... I don't have any trenches here. So they could, in theory, just blast their way through and just charge over the lines. Now this is where I'm just firing with everything I've got. Trying to keep the Germans at bay for as long as possible. And then I start firing in the uh, the lime shot. So I'm firing in gas to try and keep them at bay here. So I have to see if that works. But I think they're going to get their gas masks on in time. So, yeah, my... Uh, and then I hit my own machine gun. So here we go. All the French now firing in a desperate attempt to keep the German assault at bay. And they're going to start pushing fairly soon. But their guard infantry, they are beastly. They are extremely hard to get. And they have quite a few units of them, uh, both Warrior Sparta and Pixelated Apollo. But here the gas, wow, spreading across a load of the battlefield. And as you can see, the Germans have now reached the French lines, getting inside the trenches. This isn't going to look good for me, especially conscripts going up against stormtroopers. That is just, yeah, it's not going to go too well. Uh, what do we have here? The French Foreign Legion should hold for a little bit longer against the stormtroopers. But wow, they are losing a lot of their number. Then my line is still firing here. My main line. Holding bravely. And if you can hear knocking above me, it's the children. Uh, I don't have children, but the people who live above me do. Yay. So, we beat off this first German attack pretty much. Although it's pretty precarious here. Although the stormtroopers, yeah, they don't really have a lot of men left. So we've held after their first attack. However, as you can see, they're storming in more men. They're going for the breach. My machine guns have actually left their guns, which was kind of annoying. And they're going to go straight in for the flank. They don't actually stop. I wasn't actually sure what was going on there. Um, <laughs> I think they were just told to like order through and storm the line. And this is what exactly what they're going to do. And they're still storming. And they're laying off grenades as they run. So, oh my god, the French line, look at that! Men are going flying! Wow. So, over here, I'm actually repositioning men to this flank now. As I can tell, this is where their main assault is going to be, which is pretty obvious. I should have done this before. 
And they're getting cavalry into play now. So I think that's pixelated Apollo's Hussars are charging in. But again, I'm still firing in the gas. And here, my conscripts should at least win against the cavalry charging in. So over here... <coughs> wow, I don't know what happened to my voice there. Over here... <laughs> just the huge amounts of like German and French dead starting to pile up now. So we've lost the trenches here. They've pretty much routed all of my troops. So they have this flank flee to attack and do what they will. My men are still going to try and hold the line here. We're bringing in territorial infantry into play. But they're bringing in guard infantry. Uh, what else do they have coming in? Rifle infantry. This is a pretty elite German uh, German army coming in. Stormtroopers. And all I've got to hold the way is conscripts at the minute. But here, battle for the trenches is now on. And we've actually pushed the Germans back. So we're still managing to hold this position, although Warrior Sparta and Pistolator Apollo thinks bringing in his SMG infantry. Uh, but he does actually bring those back because he does realise they're incredibly OP and we did agree not to bring them on this battle. <laughs> so yeah, there we go, he brought them back. So here is the brave fight on open ground now, something we wouldn't really have seen much during World War One. But we lost the trenches, so we need to try and hold this position and hope that French reinforcements can come in. I mean, it's unlikely, but in fact, it's not going to happen. So I'm just fighting for my life here. The Germans go for a charge. Again, I think they're stormtroopers going against conscripts, so their morale is just going to fall. And yeah, I'm pretty screwed. So at this stage of the battle, things aren't looking too good for me. And in fact, the Germans still have fresh troops ready to come in. Tons of guard infantry ready to come in if they needed. So I'm still firing desperately with my artillery. I'm still trying to hold with my French Foreign Legion, my territorial infantry. And it looks like Pixelated Apollo's cavalry has just gone around and is chasing down dead routing units. But I, think, I imagine they're going to charge in and go for the artillery. And in fact, I think our artillery is starting to be charged. By oh, stormtroopers. Sir, sir, so I was pretty confident that the French Foreign Legion might be able to hold for a little while. Oh, what a shot! As you can see, cavalry is now getting in amongst the amongst the artillery. So. My one core unit, which was doing really well in the battle, is going to get wrecked. And at this stage, I've got... I'm just pouring in any men I can. The unit of rifle infantry. We've still got the snipers holding the line here. Uh, the trickers still holding the line. Rifle infantry. Trying to get into position to beat these guys back. But they've got rifle infantry old there. Guard infantry. So it's really not looking good for me. Is that a fresh unit coming in for the Germans? Yeah, the fresh infantry of guard. Just to kind of mop up here. So three units of guard infantry coming in just to finish the job. And it looks like the... F the, the, the they, they, well... The Germans have routed the French position here. So they're managing to advance in the Battle of Verdun here. 
But it's not over. I mean, this battle is, but the war isn't. So, you know. The end of uh, the end of um, match statistics should be quite interesting to see. See which units did well and which units didn't. And my general's gone charging in now. My last hussar going down with the troops. And they're going to do fairly well. So my final French units are starting to fall now. Just a unit of rifle infantry. Um, trying to hold. As you can see, the guard infantry come charging in. More fresh units, so the stormtroopers have come back in just to f finish the job. Uh, my unit of machine guns, still there. Still firing. But with that, the French defence. And this section of the Battle of the Dun has been well and truly decimated. Our defensives weren't strong enough to hold back the German onslaught. We must fall back and regroup. So here I was hoping to turn the machine guns on the guard infantry here. In fact, I was praying they turned them around in time. There we go. But our general's now dead. The machine gun's still firing. In fact, no, they stopped. No, keep firing, please. Not enough to hold the guard infantry. And with that, my fight is over. But what a battle. What a battle. That was a great battle. Um, they still got men to send it. Oh my god. Yeah. Completely overwhelmed my position. And they can got a straight march through now. Somehow the machine guns are still going. With their little knives. I think this is just the units being a little bit um, derpy here. So there we have it. The battle is over. Unfortunately, I couldn't hold today. We fought bravely, but it wasn't enough. So there we go. The unit statistics. Deployed 2,000. Two uh, so we were up against more than double our number. Uh, we killed almost 3,000 men and we lost 1,800. Uh, Warrior Sparta got 708 kills and Pixelator Polo got 823. And it looks like here, the conscripts did all right. I'm surprised at that. French Foreign Legion, almost 300 kills. Heavy Howitzers, 563. So those were a beast. One machine gun unit got 433 kills. And then the rest got, you know, bits and bobs. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this battle. If you want more Great War, make sure to get this video to 200 likes. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day.